Hi, everybody. It's, wow. it's been a busy few weeks. On top of all the exciting work that's going on here at the home office, Greg, Cynthia and I visited, let me think, England, Hungary, France, Japan. And after Japan, I, I shot off for a couple of days in Hong Kong. So as you can tell, it's been a really busy couple of weeks, but it's been brilliant to get back onto the road and spend time with our FBOs, with you guys. You are always so welcoming and we are grateful for your hospitality. Everywhere you go, you open your lives to us and it's just wonderful to be there, I can promise you. There are many things I'd love to tell you about all that's going on in the forever world right now and especially on my last trip, there's so many things I could tell you, but here's a quick summary. summary. Let me think this through. We danced on the beach in the south of France we surprised over 200 of Mickey Burkitt's guests at his opportunity meeting. We just arrived, didn't tell anyone we were there in, in, in Budapest, went into the meeting. You should have seen it. It was an amazing response. We loved every second of it. Then we watched the sunset on the Danube River. And even we cried together on stage with thousands in Osaka, Japan, as we recognized their amazing achievements, including two new diamond centurions, if you can believe that. And we also celebrated the life of a dear friend in a beautiful village in Wales. So as you can see, it's been a busy few days for us. Doing what we do is a privilege and it is an honor and it's something we don't take for granted. What I love most about our business though is the relationships we make. By nature of what we do and who we are as a company, there is a great depth in our connections. And with such connections between colleagues and friends around the world, we open ourselves also up to the opportunity or the chance to experience equally great loss. This month, we had to say goodbye to two great men, longtime FBO and GLT member, John Curders, and the former country manager of India, Amajit Ubi. Both dedicated their lives to helping Forever grow over the years. And they each left a legacy of kindness, success, and learning. As is often the case when people around you pass on, you stop for a minute and reflect and maybe take a moment of introspection. I did the same thing here and you know, John was the first person to teach me about our business and industry and I loved spending time with him. He had a, a way of making you feel optimistic and confident, smarter and a little lighter. John taught me, a, a young lad from Liverpool, more than he will ever know and he guided my steps so patiently, without judgment, during my first clumsy years in this business. Armajit was a pioneer for India. He had a warm heart and a sense of humor that could get him through the most difficult of situations. He was always welcoming, kind, patient and calm. And he never got rattled and always had time for everybody. See, both of these men were successful and set an example worth following. So what was their secret to success? Well, let me first off say, and I don't think I'm qualified to answer that question in full, but as I reflected on what I learned from them, I did discover a common thread despite achieving their success very differently. There was a, there was a similarity about their success. They both led by example. They both taught us to care more than others think is wise, dream more than others think is practical, and expect more than others think is possible. They also taught me how to believe in the unbelievable. And how did they do that? They did it by the way they lived and the way they loved. And their example fundamentally changed me. You know, all great leaders inspire people to see more in themselves and in others. And this is exactly what John and Amajit both did time and time again. Over the years, I've observed that great leaders are also kind, polite, and interested in the lives of those around them. They're not dismissive or rude. Rex was like that, and especially when no one was watching. And you know, Greg is the same way. Leaders like this ask questions. They show gratitude and humility even when circumstances go awry. They stay calm, composed, and solution-focused. So when life and sometimes death throws itself at us, when we have more questions than answers, let's not become contentious. Let's find a solution, overcome, and rebuild. Just like John and Armaget and all those great leaders around you. Let's pull one another up the next hill, drown out the distractions, and race down the other side to meet the next challenge. This is the thrill 
and the heart of true leadership. It's not the micro moments of celebration. Leadership is found in the face of difficulty, in the late nights of listening, and in leaning into the winds of change when everyone is looking. Have fun. We love you all.